Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Happy afternoon everybody. Macam nak meninggal je. <laughs> Again, happy afternoon everybody. That's the way. Okay. All right. How many here love stamp? One, two, three, four. What happened to the rest? You are not. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of reason why um, there's a downfall of or decline peoples into STEM because our teachers didn't teach like this, right? Not? Our teachers also didn't behave like this in class, right? So now what shall we do? Behave like this? Definitely. I just talked to our Mr. Maliki. Um, he has um, encouraged people at the sports center on agriculture. So I'm very amazed by one of his stories just now when he brought his mother from Kampung, staying with him in one of the um, hostel area. And he saw, uh, she saw lands, and she quickly uh, dig the uh, land and plant uh, vegetables and so forth. So that's how we should change ourselves to really encourage our, our women, our girls, and uh, of course not forgetting our partners, which is men, to love STEM. Yeah? All right. Uh, okay, when I spoke to a lot of people, I said, uh, do you like STEM? He said, Datu, apa STEM tu? He said, uh, there's one particular area I'm not going to mention. He said, Datu, please come to our, our place. We have collected boxes and boxes of STEM. Then I said, I, I, put, I, I, don't know, I don't know whether I want to cry or I want to laugh. You know? So because um, we did, I mean, the mistake is us. The mistake is uh, teachers, professors at the universities, mothers, fathers, we all at fault. We never talk to our children that... How beautiful is science? Do you see science beautiful? Only two or three girls here. What happened to this corner? I mean, I, I don't blame you all. Because um, out of 447,000 students sitting for PT3, only 19% choose science stream. That is a very scary for our country. That's why when Pachi Mahade, he want to open up or uh, uh, to start again our national car, a lot of people is not don't want to support him, want to support him, but we don't have enough talent. We don't have enough talent. We don't have um, uh, people, you know, in uh, in, in uh, car design in a um, chemical engineer, manufacturing engineer, and so forth. But before they go there, I mean, they, they, they really uh, immerse themselves in this uh, uh, engineering um, field. All of us, all of us, whatever field we are, we need to know what is the definition of STEM. In order to know what is the definition of STEM, we need to Google one thing. We also need to go to library. Which one has more crowd? Library or supermarket? What, what do you do at supermarket? But do you know the, the, the definition of STEM at supermarket? No, good. So please go to the library. Our, um, most of 
of the director of the library inform me, Dato, please invite all the people to the library. You know, there's Stone Uda. Stone Uda in Shah Alam Library. This is the best library in the country. How many have visited that, that library? Ah, okay, very few. Please go. There's a lot of digital things there. There's a lot of 6D information and so forth. Please go there. And I hope all the library can turn into that uh, the similar library so that they will learn more how the, the meaning of STEM. Okay. Let's back the definition of STEM here. Uh, it's a discipline of knowledge. Yeah? Discipline of knowledge consisting of science, which is physics. They must know about physics. Okay? Uh, physics is only study of physicals. You know, like the, like the carpet now. This is, you know, we need to study. So this is also related to physics and so forth. And then the chemistry. There's a lot of chemical in our body, right? Such as? Calcium, nitrogen, micro <laughs> acid, and so forth. Yeah, okay, yes, and so forth. So, if the teachers or the professors at the universities or the mothers, you know, at the home or the fathers at home talk to the children like that, then they will start wondering, oh, this is nice, this is good. I need to learn about chemistry. Do you agree with me? So let's change. All right? And I also want to hear the children say, Ma, nasi lemak ni tak berapa bagus lah. Sodium chloride kurang. Yes? Yes? Uh, so this is the scenario that we want them to talk. And when they learn chemistry, they can talk that sentences. All right? And of course, biology is a living thing and so forth. And all this physics, chemistry, biology is blended together and supported by mathematics. All right? So, uh, and, and also with the integration of all the technologies and engineering. So, when we talk about STEM, it's the blend. It's a family of physics, chemistry, biology, additional maths. Because additional maths now is very important for us to do artificial intelligence, programming, all right? So all this, hello, so long to see you, okay? <laughs> all right, okay, so <laughs> we were together, Pesatu Wansi Suaza, right, okay. So we have to make fun, we have to make it um, the, the meaning of all this topic into our life. Then the kids, more uh, wom uh, women, girls, and of course our uh, uh, brothers also, we love on STEM. Okay? All right. Oops. I'd like to show you all this. This is the international... PISA results on mathematics, readings, and science for 2015. For the latest one, they're still uh, calculating and they, they're just completing their tests recently. So the result is not out yet. But let's look here. Mathematics. Who's number one there? Eh? Where's Malaysia? Down there? Yeah. Malaysia is here, eh? Okay. Malaysia is here. We are very lucky because Bongolaria is here, Chile is here. Or else we are the, the last. There is 2015. Now worse. Alright? So let's uh, open up our mind and see the important link the theory to the uh, everyday life uh, use of physics, chemistry, biology, and maths, and so forth. Readings. Who's number one again? Who 
Who's second? Where's Malaysia? Yeah. At least, at least math not so bad, right not? But readings. Luckily, Turkey and Costa Rica is there. You know why? That's why I said just now, please go to the library. Borrow as many books you can. When I studied my PhD in mathematics in Ohio, in, uh, in, uh, Ohio State, Columbus, Ohio, uh, I brought together with me my husband and my, my two children. So, of course, every weekend we'll go to the library to study, to do our homework. And then uh, when winter, there is very cool, it's minus. And then I said, um, never mind, lah. we go a bit late. The library opened at uh, 9 o'clock, so we left home, it's about, then we reached there about 8.45. But the people pack with their winter coat, pack outside the door of the library. But where do we pack outside here? Shopping mall. Right now. So let's change our readings, you know, attitudes where we really go into our library. That's why those library, but one thing about library in US, they are well equipped with a lot of digitals, lots of uh, videos, um, books, uh, lovely books, and everything. So that's why all our library must change. But luckily, we have Tun Uda Shah Alam um, has turned into a good one. All right, let's go to science. Number one again. But you realize not, Singapore, 30, 40 years back, or what? They are Malaysian. That means we all can do it. Right not? Yeah, provided that we work smart. The teaching and learning must be fun. Now, the children looking forward for holidays. They run away from class. By right, they should run into our class. Right on. So, these are the things that at home, uh, with the nice readings, materials, and so forth, we must encourage our young ones to love and to know about physics, chemistry. But what is it now? A lot of children scared. Scared, they said, Are you so solid? Why is good to x squared plus one dy dx is good to two x? How funny, where do I use? So, please, when we teach mathematics, for instance, we don't come to the class and say, Okay, children, now I'm going to teach you about geometry. Student pun cakap, Lantang kau lah nak teach geometry atau tidak. But if you come to the class, like what Singapore is doing, I've observed their class, like what Finland is doing, like what US is doing, they do by uh, talking about the real problem. Okay, for instance, if you want to become a shoe entrepreneur, a businessman selling shoe, what are the variables? you must consider first. What are the variables first? Every, every business need cost. But to sell shoe, what is the first variable? Hi. Variable? I ask you, what is the variables? The size of the shoe. If you do the size of the shoe here in Malaysia, size 10, will your business fly? No, because our Malaysians are very small. So the first variable, y is equal to ax1 plus bx2 plus cx3. x1 is the first variable. Then we, uh, the first variable is x1. The a we determine later, the coefficient. Then... Uh, the size of the shoe. X2, what is the second variable? Uh, very good, materials. Why materials? Because of our weather is different from overseas. 
we have hot and cold weather, rain. Yeah? So what type of material is suitable? Ah, so these are the way we should be uh, inculcating problem solving, math mathematical modeling in order to attract our students. That's how Singapore do it. That's how Finland do it. They ask the student, they, you know, they, they, they communicate, they interact. When I ask you a question, what happened to your brain? Nothing happened to your brain? Oh, that's dangerous. You start thinking. Right, you start thinking. That's, uh, when you start thinking, then you start how to solve. Right on. So that's how we should encourage our young ones, uh, especially uh, girls or boys, uh, to make sure that they, 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 are, they are really uh, love on STEM and so forth. Okay? Okay. Um, there, there's a lot of um, different, different types of uh, groups, like myself, it's more like booby boomers, like Datin, Atia, eh? Atika, uh, we are both baby boomers. Uh, Dr. Mas, uh, she is uh, maybe uh, Gen X, Gen Y, okay? And some of you might be Gen uh, Z, and now, I uh, know, uh, before that, Gen Alpha, and then, I uh, know, the Millennium. The Millennium is those who were born in 2000, something like that. No. So we I have different, different way of learning. So um, my way of learning last time, less technology. But now, more technology. So all the schools, the universities, or at home, we have to inculcate the usage of technologies most uh, to understand the 21st century learnings. The 21st century learning, we emphasize on higher order thinking. That means we need to interact more on the why and the how. Okay? How many microphones that I hold now? How, what, how do you know it's one? Because I know you observe, but what, how do you know how to prove it? Huh? How do you prove that this one? Oh, bukan men. That's why our PISA result macam tu tadi. Why not? So this is a very simple question, but most of our students, I ask a lot of people. They said, uh, "Yeah, it's one lah." I said, "How do you know it's one?" No, that's not the way to answer. The quantity is one. So the vocabulary of STEM, we have to argue out in this. Then uh, it's easier for us to know. All right? How many here agree with me? One plus one is equal to two. Okay, stand up. How many agree with me? One plus one is equal to two. Please stand up. Please stand up. Stand up, stand up. Those who not stand up, after what I will ask you a question. <laughs> okay, those who are not stand up, I will need to ask you a question. And you have to answer me well. Oh my God. Salah. Please sit down. Okay, I saw a lady here uh, sitting down. Come to the, on the stage. Okay, tak payah jawab kat bawah pun boleh. Why? Why you didn't stand up? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Now, uh, my background is a computer scientist. So one plus one, uh, it could be uh, it could equivalent to one zero in a digital a binary 
numbers. Okay, all right. So she's from computer science, exactly. But a, a, a very basic or very simple explanation, if one microphone plus with one microphone, of course it's two microphones. But if I said one microphone plus one orange, One orange? Ada ais kita. Ais. See, it's still one microphone and one orange, right not? And then, and then as we go along, base number. Thank you. As I go. Thank you. As as we go along, um, you know, it's a different base number. Base number. We most of us know base ten, right? That's why when I asked you just now, is it true one plus one is equal to two? Because you are base ten human being, you stand up happily. <laughs> no, actually, we don't uh, don't don't simply clap. You know, uh, not just because the teacher asked you to do. Okay. Okay, Cikgu Tini, can you share with us how you you uh, sh change your students' uh, interest on uh, STEM? Assalamualaikum. Okay. I'm Hatini from Kota Baru. You can follow my Facebook, Tamaria Kek. So, <laughs> actually, I just arrived this morning. Um, She's from Kota Baru. <laughs> she drove yesterday night and arrived this morning to join <laughs> us. She's um, so I'm a she. She's uh, teaching in one of the normal school in Kota Baru, Kelantan, but uh, because she has been uh, very passionate, she wants to change uh, Kelantan children to love STEM. Uh, she have asked her principal to give her one class to yeah. turn it into a STEM center yeah. or STEM hub. Now the children really fun uh, learning. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I asked Boleh my principals to give me uh, one classroom. So I uh, upgrade that classroom uh, to the STEM hub. And then, oh, yeah. of course, you ask me where you get money. <coughs> so I find out. <laughs> I try to find out from the, I find the sponsor. As a sponsor and so on, give, get money from own pocket to make sure my 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 student love it. So so far, we have made uh, any many activities, stay outdoor, and also innovations inside the. All right. The okay. Thank you very much. She she has uh, she brought her student to. Uh, river to learn about density. So she learned the concept at, in the class about density, then she applied it by doing uh, kayaking, uh, water rafting, and so forth. So the student really changed now and loves uh, STEM. All right? I want to share with you how the Japanese um, has exposed their maths and reading through their lunch periods. All right? Never mind. If we can. Uh, Still can play this one. This one I just want to share with you how a woman's uh, I realize that being the careers in science and engineering, these the chemical engineering, how they, they come up with their own invention and then uh, some of their product has been displayed at the big supermarket uh, in US. All right? Being a chemical engineer didn't just mean chemistry, it didn't just mean math, it meant creating things and on so many different levels and for so many different kinds of products. Chemical engineers like Anita combine the principles of chemistry and engineering to scale up the production of materials and consumer products. They work in teams with other engineers, designing and adapting production methods from the small scale in the lab to the large scale at the manufacturing plant. Everything that touches your life, a chemical engineer had to be there to make it happen. And just knowing that I could be a part of that. Okay, so first of course,
first they do the prototype in the lab. Then they do a lot of um, uh, experiment testing to come out with some of the small scale product, the prototype. Then they pattern it, so then they go bigger with the industry. So that's why uh, um, I hope those industry that present today, please work closely with the schools and the universities so that we'll be able to come up with a lot of uh, opportunities, careers, startup. Because I, I really jealous to see when I was in Finland last year, the government, the industry really work together with the school and the universities. They really sponsor to come out with a lot of startup. But they were well planned. Let's say Dr. Uh, Datu Atika is doing products A, you know, for the startup. So no, uh, like myself, they don't uh, ask to product, do product A. They ask to do product B, which complement Datu Atika so that I won't compete with her, but uh, we will do more uh, opportunity on the commercializ com commercialization and the economy for the country. So that's how well planned Finland is. So that's why the, their happiness index, uh, living is high. Because if we compete, then it, suddenly our business didn't do well. Of course, we, we won't um, uh, be happy and then uh, miserable, no money, no, you know, to, to expand our business and so forth. All right? Okay, uh, next please. Okay, now uh, there's a lot of ways to collect money. You just uh, wave, you, uh, even if you, you can do busking also, you still can collect some money through uh, just uh, ways and, uh, and so forth. Okay, next. 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 Okay, this is one of the uh, projects that show successfully under the National STEM Movement. Uh, National STEM Movement is under uh, um, higher uh, department, uh, higher education department in Ministry of Education. So now we, um, we have been actively organized STEM and Tomati since 2016. Uh, we have seen a lot of mentee now become mentor, where the mentee at school, we change their learning culture and love towards science and STEM, and now they join the university to do their courses or program like medical, engineering, maritime, uh, aviation, and so forth. So they have become the mentor now uh, to guide more of their sisters and brothers at school uh, to do, uh, to, to really venture more into science, all right? And then now, um, under national, uh, together with uh, University Malaya STEM Center, which uh, Dr. Mas is the director, uh, has the secretariat now. So those universities or school would like to join for the project mentor mentee, and also the STEM ambassador. Please go and see her. Can you please stand up, Dr. Mas? All right. So, uh, so we have a lot of program to initiate and we also like um, other uh, colleagues to work with us uh, to become mentor as from the industry perspective and so forth. Next, please. All right. Uh, okay. Start, 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 start. Start, okay. There are some people said, that, oh, I don't want to become a doctor. I don't want to become an engineer. But I want to become a musician. Yes, now musician also with a blend of STEM. This I'm going to show you in a while the video uh, where the robots can be controlled to play the piano, to play the guitars, uh, and then they can come out uh, with safe times uh, to come out with uh, uh, recording. All right.
show them in in order for all those uh, all right. in order for all those robots to play the guitar the piano all those must be controlled by programmer and then they must have the uh, also artificial intelligence and then behind that of course is on mathematics additional maths you know the, the coding and so forth so uh, that's where stem and music can blend together so then you can come out uh, with the best music well you know because when that's why some people said that would that mean uh, if robots take over we don't have any, any job yes but your job is different now it's not in terms of um, just playing the guitar or doing and so you know the manual thing but all those is uh, we design then the robots do the job we controls so for instance if you want to do agriculture and then they, uh, we can use robots to do our uh, paddy now but they can, the robots can work 24 7 even though hot weather or cold weather or whatnot but the robot is controlled by us we design and we plan the program of the robots and then uh, for instance we want to uh, do uh, the uh, put fertilizer we can use drone this is why i was telling mr makili uh, just now we can use uh, then mak beda and pa ali they just do sit at the side of the paddy field controlling the drones and the robots so it's a different agriculture now and then some people say that oh if you want to involve in the agriculture you tak pakai lawa-lawa nanti uh, girls tak suka you design lah your own clothes can because i saw a farmer in japan they wear a, a, a very nice jacket uh, with tie and then here boots bawa dia all boots nampak tak so then you still look good and then if you want to uh, uh, look after kambing or lembu you can do overalls pakai baju overalls letaklah lawa-lawa punya benda design we have the design, uh, uh, fashion design just now isn't it ah uh, so fashion design can you do something where is it ah uh? uh, you know fashion design must do something of the dress that you look good in farming look good in agriculture look good to the animals and so forth all right so with that thank you very much and i hope you have uh, inspired to uh, campaign more student more people to love science doesn't matter what age group we are so with that thank you very much and all the best thank you so much prof okay. are we going to have a q a did you fosia are we going to have a q a with professor okay do you have any questions let's try to give some few questions here let's check it out if there are any questions for professor There's, there's no questions. Oh, yes, one left. Uh, yes, we have uh, the project mentor mentee program to the preschool now. So, uh, uh, at the moment, the champion is University of Malaysia Sabah. Uh, they, they, uh, we got a uh, grant from Mestec to do the project mentor mentee on uh, preschool. But if anybody here would like to expand the idea to the preschool here in Semenanjung, Please talk to Dr. Mas. We will arrange under the National STEM Movement. All right? We are looking uh, young scientists. Scientists cannot, cannot. All right? So yes, we have done that. All right? What do you think uh, the biggest challenge to promote STEM? Uh, people are still scared. People are still, um, uh, you know, uh, worry to learn at maths. You know, so they, because the learning style, we all of us need to change. The teachers, the professors at school, uh, the professors at the universities, as I mentioned just now, all of us have to have to make um, uh, the learning of STEM useful, and they see the application of what they learn into their everyday life. So that's what we are doing now. I, when I notice a lot of uh, changes has occurred, like what in school now that uh, Chegu Hartini has le uh, teach their children on uh, density. Then they brought to doing the kayaking and water rafting. Then they float. So that's the talk more about the density. So the concept was teaching in the classroom and apply in everyday life. 
um, the children will passion with that, and then, but this is not easy. Some of our teachers, they do want to change. They do, because the moment they change their way of teaching, the class start to become noisy. Yeah, because of the interaction between teachers and students. So some uh, next door teachers, they do not understand about fun, smart learning of STEM, they complain to their higher management. Then the higher management come to the school, uh, to, to the class said, hello, why your class is so noisy? You're disturbing other class. And then uh, said, uh, some of them answer wrongly. They said, Datuk Noraini asked uh, the way of teaching. So uh, they said, Datuk Noraini, give your promotion or myself? Ah, so it, this is my big challenges now to promote STEM. So now, all of us has to talk to a lot of teachers, a lot of professors, a lot of higher management, and also to the industry. The industry also must come down to the school, must come down to the university, work together to make sure that people see the beauty of physics, chemistry, um, biology, additional maths especially. Because I asked uh, uh, children, uh, where do you, uh, uh, do you like binomial theorem? The expansion of binomial theorem, bracket A plus 1 to the power of N minus 1. They said, what is that? It's so dry. But if you use it and you see the usage in the uh, in outside, then it's more fun. So, but of course, that is my biggest challenge now. I, I need more experts in agriculture, in admets, in uh, artificial intelligence, to come forward with us, National STEM Movement, so that we can help our country. All right, I think that's all. So all right. I pass back to the uh, MC. Thank, Thank you, you Professor Dato. Dr. Naraini Idris.